Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to factor this trinomial. Now, it's very important when fact looking into factoring a trinomial um, that we know that we see if we can factor out any coefficient we have for this quadratic term because it's going to help us out factoring a lot. Um, unfortunately, though, all of these terms are not um, do not have the same factors. So I'm going to have to factor this what we call like the AC method. And the reason why sometimes I call it the AC method is because you're going to multiply a times c. And you might say, well, what is a times c? Well, if I look at the standard uh, quadratic form, all right. Um, if I look at the standard quadratic form of a uh, quadratic, which this is, it's also a trinomial. Um, we see that a, b, and c are the coefficients where n is obviously your variable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply a times c. So we say a times c, and then we're going to put b. So if you remember kind of this uh, x or diamond um, method that I used for trinomials when a is equal to 1, we just, we just put c up there. But now, since I have an a, I'm going to multiply that by c. So 3 times uh, my t so. A lot of times we can write them out. So a equals 3, b equals negative 17, and c equals 10. I know you might say, well, that's obvious. But it's, I think it'll, sometimes it's helpful just to write them out um, so you don't make a mistake. So 3 times 10 is going to be 30, and then I have negative 17. So in this process, the, what we're trying to do is, is determine what two numbers or factors multiply to give me 30, which would be their factors, and, but then add to give me negative 17. Now, since I know my factors are adding to give me a negative number, but I'm multiplying to give me a, um, a positive number, I know that both those factors have to be negative. So let's just go ahead and write out the factors. Um, 430, which then both being negative. So I could have negative 30 times negative 1. We know that gives you positive 30. That does not give you negative 17. Uh, we could do negative 15 times negative 2. And guess what? Ding, ding, ding. There we go. We don't even need to move, go any further. So those are going to be my two factors, which are right, negative 15 and negative 2. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my original trinomial and I'm going to rewrite it with these new factors in place of negative 17. Okay, So what you can see is I just rewrote, I, if you combine these, negative 15n minus 2n is the same thing as negative 17n, right? But I just used the factors. And the reason why I use the factors is because that's how I'm going to do this. I want to create this um, as a polynomial with four terms. So now what I can do is I can factor by grouping. And remember, when factoring by grouping, what we simply want to do is factor out the common terms. So here my common terms are 3n. So in factoring out, so now I'm factoring out the GCF out of each of my um, groupings. So I have 3n. That's going to leave me with n minus 5. Right? Apply distributive property. You can see it'll give me the same answer again. And then here I'm going to multiply a 2, not a 2n, right? They don't both share two n's, just a negative 2. And that's going to leave me with an n minus 5. So now, ladies and gentlemen, you can see that both of my expressions here, they're separated by this subtraction. Um, both of these expressions share a, an, an expression of n minus 5. So I'm now going to factor out the n minus 5. And when factoring out the n minus 5, I'm left with a 3n minus 2. So that will be my other factor. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor your trinomial when a is not equal to 1. Thanks.